This video is about synchronizing data across users, whether they just join the room or if they're already in the room. You don't necessarily have to have Visual Studio Mono or whatever development tool open to follow along. Uh, this video is going to be pretty short and I'm going to go straight to the point. If you've seen my past videos, you know in the past I have talked about using OnPhoton Serialize View as well as using RPCs to send data. Typically the best way to synchronize data without having to jump through a bunch of hoops is to use OnPhoton Serialize View. OnPhoton Serialize View only sends the updated values so it is not continuously uh, wasting bandwidth if the data has not changed. And it also only sends data uh, when it's possible to so it won't actually bog down the connection so it's very important to keep that in mind if you absolutely have to send something that uh, must send right away you should be using an RPC if you're just trying to sync up uh, values like for animations and effects and things like that on photon serialized view is probably the best choice so I have two boolean set at the top of my class which I will be sending over to network and synchronizing the first one gets set through a method called set firing. And this is just based on if your mouse is held down or not. The second one is a crouching state. And this is set directly, not through a method. And it's based on uh, if, if the left shift key is held or not. I would probably use a method to set both of them. And you'll see why as I explain later. Uh, but in, in this example, I'm just showing you one through a method and one through just setting it directly. Inside the on photon serialized view, if the stream is writing, that means you're the owner of the object and you're sending the data out to other players to sync up. If it's reading, then you are the other player and you're receiving the data. Now keep in mind, this is called steadily over an interval. So even if the value hasn't changed, you're still going to be executing this code. Photon won't necessarily waste the bandwidth on sending it if it hasn't changed, but this will still call, so you have to keep that in mind. Another important factor is whichever order you send them in, you must also set them in. So I use set firing to set my uh, boolean state for m firing, which if I'm writing, Photon will send across the network if it's changed. And when it's received, whether it's changed or not, it's going to call this method. So that's very important. So let's go down to the set firing method. So here I have a simple check that says if the state, which is whatever is being passed in, is what the m underscore firing is already set to, then exit the method. This is very useful if you want to perform actions based on uh, based on whatever the state is or if it changes. So let's say if you only want to uh, perform certain things when the state changes, like say play a startup sound or a stop sound, this would be perfect for that. Because if you don't do this check right here before setting the state, it's just going to spam the sound over and over and over again. And you can just do, um, you can do multiple things too, like uh, set up tracers, show or hide a muzzle flash, or whatever it is. So this one little check is basically the secret to it all that saves you CPU cycles and keeps your game running smooth. If it's something uh, less important that doesn't require extra logic to be run after the uh, state changes or, or whatever the state may be, for example, uh, let's say your animator runs is running off from this value and let's say it's hooked in there somehow and it does it automatically so if you just want to set the value directly you can do that as well um, that's most commonly seen when updating the transform position and rotation and tutorials and that's fine if something needs to be updated in real time and it doesn't matter if it's the same value or not but if you want to do only on state changes you'll want to pass through a method like this which simply does a check one very important thing I want to mention when you're working with photon methods is to check and double check to make sure you have the spelling right. Make sure on photon serialized view or whatever method you're using is spelled correctly as well. Make sure the parameters are in there as well. Most questions and comments I see are people racking their brains about figuring out what's going on, why it's not working, and almost every time it's just a simple spelling mistake. 
So check and double check that. Uh, open up the API if you're unsure and take a look. And don't forget that if you want to use OnPhoton Serialize View, you must also observe the script. So going to the editor here, just as an example, I'm going to create an empty game object. I will add a Photon View, drop the script on there as well. And in order to get on Photon Serialize View to actually fire to send and receive data, I must drag the script and drop it into the observed components.